Hey guys, what we're going to do in this video is a quick little styling of your console log so you can do some cool stuff. What I actually did here is I'll be adding this to my website here in just a moment where all it really is is a console log that logs one time and it has my data here. So like the idea being like, oh, this is on my portfolio site. I don't really work on my portfolio site too much, but I thought that'd be a cool thing to add. You know, anytime I check someone's portfolio site, I do check the inspector. And if I saw this, I'd be, oh, cool. This is somebody who went the extra mile and, you know, just has a little link. So I'm going to show you how to style it, how to, you know, make it a little spicy with the console log. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into it. Hey guys, before we jump into the content, I'd like to do a shameless little plug for my latest course, the 100 Angular Challenge, where we build upwards of 100 components, services, directives, pipes, and much more. You're going to learn Angular not through, you know, hours of video, although there's 12 and a half hours currently and it's growing, but by building 100 different things. Really going to build a component library by the end of this project and learn Angular in the process. Lots of fun. Got 4.6 stars. People are really liking it. Anyhow, check it out in the link below. All right, so we'll be doing this in an Angular application, but it doesn't really matter if you just do it in a, in a vanilla JavaScript app or a React app or Vue. Really, um, in your main JavaScript file, your main JS, in our case, it'll be a constructor and the app component. What you want to do is you want to put your console log stuff in here. Um, so whatever it is that you're interested in doing. So let's start with something pretty basic, right? We have our console log and we'll do my um, you know, introduction here with a little emoji. So if we go and we copy over Mr. Emoji and I put in, I'll just copy and paste this in and I go, hi, I'm Dylan C. Israel and thanks for checking out my portfolio, exclamation point. All right, let's go and close this. And now, as you would expect, if we go over here, we have this little line here that's good to go. So nothing too special about that. Now, if you want to actually go and assign styles to your console log, you have to lead it with a, um, a percent sign C, like so. And our second argument here can now be a string of styles. So what we'll do is we'll create a constant here. We'll call it styles. And all this is going to be is a string. So if we want to do font size of 1.25 EM, which is what I did, if you get a slightly larger font size, you can kind of see, oh, and it looks like the, uh, the ampersand C hashtag C didn't work. If that's rendering, something didn't happen properly which means we have to uh, we have to paste our styles in here. I think that's the issue. And let's go ahead and check again. There we go. See how that's bigger? And we'll make it a little bit bigger on top of that if we do like 3.25, just so that you can see it. If you guys hear my dog making little sounds, she's dreaming right behind me. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, so we'll just make it 1.25. Add a little bit of padding. So we'll do, we'll add some additional stuff. I like the uh, font dash weight of bold. I thought that looked a little bit better, but you can do pretty much whatever you want with this. So if you want to give it a nice gradient background, let me go ahead and get like a, maybe like a box shadow even. Let's see, I didn't actually try a box shadow, um, but if we grab some box shadow properties, what do we want? Not teal, give me like a, Let's copy this over. Let's go ahead and play around a little bit. And we'll go ahead and paste that in there. But instead of red, let's do RGBA. And this will be um, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.9. Let's see if that works. And if we come back to here, uh, did that not work? Shoot. Maybe if we add some, let's just do this black and then we'll do padding of 10 pixels. I think we'll need some padding for it to show up. Nope, the padding took it there, but there are other properties. So if we want to do like a um, background color of, we'll do RGBA, we'll do zero, 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 
0 0.9 and then we'll also do padding of five pixels and then we'll do a color of white so the text can still be visible boom so we have this nice little you know item on here maybe add some border radius it looks like the rgba isn't working as well as i'd like it to be so like it may be not everything's going to be perfect and let's add a border radius radius of i don't know let's say uh five pixels and let's do padding of like maybe eight a little bit more so we'll play around it's very cool so hi i'm dylan israel thanks for checking out my portfolio and actually let's just grab this color here that will look better it doesn't look like it's uh cool it's actually making this any more see-through so let me just check one last time oh it, it it is it just doesn't look very good that's a whole different issue <laughs> So, uh, all right. So we'll leave this as a. Hmm. I don't think this color is actually identical. So that's this is definitely not the color here. So I wonder if uh, certain colors are not available or not. Anyhow, so you can kind of see that you have some uh, coloring options that you want to do here. I'm gonna go ahead and just take the background and the color off and whatnot. We'll leave a little bit of padding on here. Uh, I didn't want to really add that to mine, but you can see that you can sort of jump around with what's there okay so we have our console log and what we'll do is we'll go ahead and put in whatever our additional logs that we want so um, i'm gonna go ahead and copy over my logs i have a youtube channel podcast and what's pretty cool is that these are all going to be treated as separate logs and you can see that everything's already there and these links actually work right so if i go to self taught or not.com i'll click it if i go to github.com it'll open up in a new window all that sort of stuff um pretty much the only thing here is my email it just isn't there um now if you want to group them something to keep in mind is there is a console.group and so we're going to change this first log here the group heading essentially like an accordion and then we're going to have another one here called console.groupend. This will end our console log group. Cool. So now that we've done that, it will stay open. And when I collapse it, we have this nice little item that's here. Now, you can also do a background image on the logs, but it's, it's going to be a background image on each one of these logs with the way that we have it set up. So you may... If you don't want to do a group and you want to have a background image go across the whole thing, you would simply inject your background image URL. And instead of a slash C on each one of these supply styles, you do one log and then you would just inject. You could either use the back ticks here, which also works. So like if I did hello and I did world right here, it's going to handle that automatically. And you can see it's going to break that out. So it's uh, pretty verbose and you could go ahead and put a background image to that if you'd like. Not something I'm going to do. But with that, we're able to go and have our styles here. Now, you might be thinking, like, Dylan, this is cool, but, like, if I'm working on my portfolio site, I don't want to see this all the time. So you you can do something. Pretty much anything you're going to have is going to have an environment file, and you can reference your environment file. You could do something like this, if environment.production, where when we build it, it only gets displayed there so right now this obviously isn't a production environment so it's not going to show that's one way another way if you want to do something that's a little bit more uh, i didn't actually try this but let's go ahead and comment this out for a second but if i were to do what happens if i this is what i'm thinking what happens if i did this console dot assert can i assert a group so uh i believe false asserts so let me do and the second value is hello so let's see if that works assertion failed hello okay so probably don't want to do that right but uh so you could do because that's going to display an error so yeah i guess you would just do with the environment file so uh, uh you could also use the console.assert <laughs> to display it i wouldn't recommend it but with that you now have a nice little a uh, cool little thing that when someone dives into your portfolio, you could see, put something out to your uh, component. 
And uh, of course you wanna include some sort of logic for your environment file, whether it gets built in for production mode, right? This is, you, you want this in production, uh, at least I do. This isn't something I wanna see during development. So something to consider. But as always guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Um, hopefully you found this cool and fun and exciting. I thought it was kind of cool. Quick little thing that you can do to differentiate yourself and have some fun. And um, if you go and create anything really cool, um, you know, cause I just showed you one basic example. You can get very creative very quickly with this. Share a link in the description below and uh, I'll, I'll share it with some people. Um, share it in the Facebook group, all that good stuff. If you're interested in any of my courses, there are links in the description below. And you can help me out and uh, check out the podcast and uh, go to dylanisrael.com to see it live. See you guys next time. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, all that good stuff so I can see what questions you have. Maybe I'll do a video about it in the future. And take a look at some of my courses. They'll be in the description below. See you next time.